All right, through these crazy times of COVID, maybe not being able to get in the weight room, not being able to get together as a football team, I designed this video for the football team to do at-home workouts. Whether you're on the beach, on vacation, at home, in your basement, in your bedroom, out in the yard, you can do these workouts and you can get stronger. So it's going to be important because some of the other teams in our league possibly are able to get in the weight room a little bit more and do some things that we can't do. And we don't know if and when we're going to have a season or fall sports, winter sports, sports at all. But we got to be ready. And besides, this is a healthy thing to do for our body, for our mind, and everything else. So that's why I've decided to make these uh, home workouts. So you can follow along with me. I'm going to go through these. You do not need much. In fact, really you don't need anything if you don't have it. However, if you have just a simple set of dumbbells, Okay, these happen to be 30 pounds. Okay, if you have less than that, or you're stronger than me, get more, heavier than that. Okay, just invest in a small set of dumbbells. Just, just one set. You can also uh, get kettlebells. You can also have plates, like on a, on a barbell. Or you can just find other sorts of weights, all right? The other thing you need is a stool, okay? Simple, sturdy stool. Sometimes I use my coffee table at home, actually. Anything that you can step up on that is pretty stable, won't tip, uh, won't fall over, okay? So, and then a stopwatch if you have it. Of course, you all have a phone, you can use that. Uh, I like to use a stopwatch. Have a towel, have your water ready, and you can virtually do almost any workout that we wanna do and you can get stronger, okay? So, work on gathering up. If you don't have any dumbbells, they're pretty cheap. You can usually find them used on Craigslist. You can buy some on Amazon, whatever. There's usually a lot laying around. Okay, so with that being said, let's get after a little bit. Let's start with a warm up. Okay, I want you to take four or five minutes to get warmed up, all right? And just like we warm up our car, we gotta get those engine parts moving a little bit. So we don't just do a little stretching and call it good. All right, we're gonna get jogging first. So I want you to at least jog for two minutes. Okay, and then you're gonna have another couple minutes after that normal jog. And in that, I want you to get some butt kickers in. Okay, that'll warm up your thighs. Okay, I want you to get some high knee skips. Okay, that'll work our hamstrings, loosen up our lower legs, okay? I want you, whether you're out in your yard, uh, maybe you're even in your basement, wherever it may be, you don't need a lot of room, but I want you to get some side hops with some arm swings, okay? Get the arms loose too, okay? Get some arm circles in, okay? So some dynamic stretching, dynamic movements, okay? Four or five minutes, uh, warm up, and then I'll meet you back here. All right, hopefully you're breathing just a little bit. Maybe you have a little sweat going. That's good. That's what you, you want. Let's do just a few static stretches, okay? And I generally like to just do a couple. One is a calf stretch, okay? I put this calf, my heel down, legs straight. I'm up against a wall or something that I can push against. And I force my toe straight ahead and I force my heel to the ground. I even push off a couple times against resistance. Maybe I move it back a little bit. Okay, switch legs. Same thing. Okay, quad stretch, all right, quad stretch. We used to do it like this. Get your heel away from your butt and lift up. Hold these for 15 to 20 seconds. I'm kind of shortening it up a little bit. Good. Then another one I like to do is hip flexor. 
and hamstring. Okay? Right foot forward, nice ways out here. Shin straight up and down, body up, and I'm, I just stretch forward. Push my hips towards my heel. I feel it in my left hip flexor. Hold that 15 to 20 seconds and staying on that knee. Just go back and sit back on your heels and you'll feel this one under your right hamstring and calf. Hip flexor, hold for 15 to 20 seconds, back to a calf. All right, you can do that both ways. Hip flexor, and back to calf. Okay? All right, so take a few minutes, pause this if you have to, to get those done. All right, should be good and warmed up now. Our heart rate's up a little bit. We've got a little sweat going. Our muscles are loose. We're ready to get going. Today's workout, we're, we are going to do four rounds. Four rounds. Each round is going to consist of three exercises. A lower body, a core, and an upper body. And each of those exercises, lower body, core, upper body, we're going to do three sets. If you can't do three sets, we'll do two. We'll talk about that. But we're gonna do three sets of three exercises in round one. Then we're gonna to go to round two, get another three exercises, three sets. Once we're done with that, round three, and then round four, okay? So it's going to be a busy workout, but if we get after it, we can have this workout done easily within an hour. All right, ready to get after it? Okay, let's go. All right, here we go with round one. Round one, for lower body workout, we are going to do parallel squats. For our core, we're going to do front planks, and for our upper body, we're going to do push-ups. So let's talk about squats. Okay, and you can do it with body weight if you want. I'll demonstrate it with just body weight, and also I'm going to use uh, some dumbbells here. So lower body, this is probably one of the best exercises you can do for your overall lower body and power. Okay, all right, feet wider than shoulder width, Sl toes maybe slightly pointed out, just a little bit, okay, give you some, some room and some flexibility. All right, if you need some counterbalance, you can have your hands out here. I'm going to have weights in my hand, but if you're just doing body weight, we want to go down till our thighs are parallel. My eyes are up, back is flat, and we're good. I'm pushing down through my heels. My heels should not come off the ground. All right, set of 10. Set of 10. Okay, ready? Go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, core. Core exercise is going to be a front plank. We're going to go for one minute. I like to have a towel, stopwatch. Keep your body straight, ready, go. On all of these, if you're just starting out, if you can't do a full set of 10 squats, do eight, do five, but do them well. Plank, can't do a minute, do it as long as you can, but do it well. On planks, we don't want to be up high, we don't want to be down low. Okay, nice and straight. Four, 
40 seconds down, 20 to go. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Okay, as you get better at those, do them longer. Okay, that's lower body, core. Now our upper body is going to be push-ups. We're going to do 15 push-ups, or if you can't quite do 15 good ones, do 10. Do whatever it takes, but do them well. Don't have your hands too wide. Make sure you're going down deep until you, your arms bend to 90 degrees. Do 15, go. There's 15. I'm not great at push-ups. If you're not great, just keep after. You'll get better. I'm getting a little better at it. Alright, that's just one set of round one. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera off while we do sets two and three. We'll see you back here in a few minutes. Alright, three sets of that. It's pretty tough. That's in round one. Let's go to round two. For round two, we have, uh, for our lower body, are going to be calf raises. I'll demonstrate that here on, on the bench. Okay? For our core, we're going to do side planks. And for our upper body, we're going to do arm curls. Alright? So, calf raises. If you don't have a good stable bench, something to hold on to, maybe you have a set of stairs. Maybe it's your outside stairs to your front door. Whatever it is, find a weight. Find something that you can step up on. Balls of your feet. Rest your heels as low as you can. You get a good calf stretch. And just go up in the air, high as you can. Again, I'm holding some weight. You don't have to if you don't want to, or you can hold more. Okay, let's do 15, go. Again, it's important to have a full range of motion. Alright, so that's our lower body calf raises. Core, going to be side planks. Alright, stopwatch, again a towel. We're really going to work our oblique muscles. Alright, side planks on your right forearm. Everything in alignment. And go. We're going to go for 45 seconds. At least have your hand on your waist. I like to have my hand in the air. <coughs> Again, these are working the obliques. If you reach down there, you'll feel, hopefully you'll feel how hard those oblique muscles are. If they're not now, they will be. Just keep at it. 45 seconds. Keep everything in alignment. Again, do these as much as you can, as long as you can. They'll get easier. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Okay? All right, switch sides. Left side. And go. You can do some things to make these harder as you get better at them. Okay? Reach under and twist a little bit. Okay? Lower your hip, raise your hip. Lower your hip, raise it. Raise a, a leg. While you're doing these, you're also working on balance, and balance takes our core muscles. 45 seconds, we're going.
five, four, three, two, one, time. All right. Upper body exercise, round two. Okay. These, we're going to pull our dumbbells out again. And these are an exercise we really can't do very well without weight. So hopefully you have some weight. Find some. Okay. Arm curls. We're going to work our biceps. I like to do these one at a time to try to avoid swinging. It's going to look like this. I give a little twist in between. We're going to do 10 each arm. Ready? Go. Again, try to avoid swinging. Alright. Okay. So there's our first set, round two, calf raises, side planks, arm curls. Alright? Alright. Get your second and third set in. Ready, go. Okay, we're halfway done if you're doing the full exercise. Make sure you're drinking water. Take just a little bit of break, but not much in between sets or rounds. Okay, so let's go to round three. Round three, lower body, we're going to do double lunges. Core, we're going to do reverse crunches. And for our upper body, we're going to do one arm rows. All right, so let's go for it. Lower body, double lunges. We all know what a lunge is. We're just going to do them twice in succession with each leg. So it's going to look like this. Go down, nice step out. Knees over my toes. Up till I'm extended. Back down, bam, and back up to standing. Okay, so it looks like this. Boom, boom. Then we'd switch. Bam, bam. All right? Okay, so we're going to do five each leg. Five double lunges will be ten lunges each leg. All right? Ready? Go. Two. Three. Four, five, don't bang your knee on the ground, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, you can actually do those with dumbbells as well. Okay, core exercises. These are called reverse crunches. Now you can do these on a bench, holding the bench behind you. You can do these on the floor of your living room or your bedroom. Hold on to the couch or your bed. You have to stabilize your hands above your head. I'm going to use my dumbbells again to stabilize. Okay, reverse crunches works our upper abs, whereas regular crunches work our mid-level. These are going to work our upper abs, okay? So, looks like this. Again, I'm stable here. This is going to be my counterbalance. I'm going to, what I like to do is cross my legs, and I'm going to extend up, and I'm going to hold it for a count of five. Two, three, four, five. Go down, barely tap my heel on the floor, and go right back up. Two, three, four, five. Okay? This takes a little bit, but it's key that you have that pause in between. Let's do a set of ten. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Two, two, three, four, five. Three, 
two, three, four, five. Hold it up there. Four, two, three, four, five. Five, two, three, four, five. Six, two, three, four, five. Seven, two, three, four, five. Eight, two, three, four, five. Nine, two, three, four, five. Ten, two, three, four, five. All right. You're going to feel those after the third set. They're great, though. All right, upper body. Upper body, we're going to do one arm rows. Again, you can use your stool. If you have a bench, that's even better. But the bottom line is, we need to be bent over a little bit. So if I'm going to work my right arm, I'm going to have my left hand on the bench. I'm going to have my right hand and the weight right below my right shoulder. And I'm going to lift the weight up to my shoulder or up to my armpit. One, two, okay? All right, let's do a set of 12. All right, set of 12 or whatever you can do. Again, try to have a flat back. Don't round it. Have a flat back. Eyes up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you can turn around. You can do it on this side. I'll go ahead and turn around. Okay, same thing here. Right here, flat back. Go. So there's set one of round three. Okay, we had we had double lunges, we had reverse crunches, and one arm rows. Let's get set two and set three done. All right, you're doing awesome if you're with me. If you've done all three sets of all three rounds, we just have one round left. Three more sets of three exercises. Okay, all right, for this one, lower body is going to be step ups. All right, I love this, but it can be a little bit difficult. All right, you're going to need a solid bench again, one that won't tip on you. Okay, you're going to need some space because you can lose your balance on this. All right, so be careful. Make sure you're, you're good at this. You will get better. You may not be very good, but these are step ups, all right? These are going to work our lower body as well. I'm going to demonstrate it without weights for the first five, and then I'll add some weights. Okay, this works our balance too. That's why I love this so much. All right, so this you'll get better as you do this. Step up with your left foot, hold your right knee up in the air, parallel for two seconds, down, right back up, and down. You're going to do five with this leg, five with this leg. Okay, I'm going to do the second set of five with weights. All right, see how it looks. Ready, go. Up and hold two. Up. Hold for two. There's three. There's four. There's five. Switch legs. Up with our right foot. Get adjusted. Left knee in the air for two seconds. Three. Four. Five. Okay, back to your left foot. I'm going to add some weights. Makes it tougher. You got to get it situated each time. Up. Three, four, five. Whew, I lost my balance there. 
Other leg. Got to concentrate on these. I'll do that one again because I lost my balance. All right, there you go. All right, core. Core, we're simply going to do crunches. Okay. Okay, knees in the air, hands just right behind your ears, and crunch your abs. Set of 50, five, zero, go. Avoid going too fast, so you just do head bobs. Crunch your abs together. There's 50. If you only do 40, do 40. 30, that's okay. Okay, upper body is going to be tricep extensions. Okay? Uh, with the weight, kettlebell, dumbbell, whatever it may be, over your head, arms extended. All right? We are going to work our triceps on these. Tricep extension. Okay? I go down until my uh, arms are about, my elbows are at 90 degrees. In this case, I touch the weight to the back of my shoulder and fully extend. Okay, let's do a set of 12. round four, first set. Let's finish off set two and set three. See you back here in a few minutes. Okay, if you did all four rounds, all three exercises and three sets of each of those, you just got a great workout. Congratulations. And you can do it in a lot of different ways. You can only do two sets. That's okay. You'll still get a great workout. You can do them like we just did, rounds of four, or uh, rounds of three, and then we did uh, four separate rounds, or you can do all 12 exercises, and then do set two, all 12 exercises. It doesn't really matter, but in the end, you've got an incredibly uh, full body workout, because you worked a lot of lower body, you did a lot of core, and you did quite a bit of upper body. All right, so do that. I'll add some videos with more variations to some of these lifts. Again, I just did it with a simple stool, some dumbbells, and a stopwatch. Okay? If you have a bench, more weights, you're even further ahead in the game. If you don't have any of that stuff, you can still get a great workout. The key is do this. Do it, do it, do it. Try to get three times a week. Anyway, three times a week, mix in some cardio on the other days. All right? Stay with it. You keep after it. After a few weeks, you're going to notice your body's going to be toned. Guys, you're going to be putting on muscle. Uh, girls, you're going to be toned. Uh, you're going to be in much better shape. All right? All right. Enjoy yourself. Be safe and work hard.